what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. I'm back at Moss Family Chevrolet because you know what? Chevrolet has shaken up the truck world with the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Now what's amazing about this truck is I'm gonna be able to bring to you a bunch of different trim levels. There's a total of eight different trim levels with the Chevrolet Silverado. Total redesign, believe it or not, they've been able to cut and slice 450 pounds of weight from the outgoing Silverado. But let's go ahead and start at the beginning, which makes sense because guess what? This is the biggest place of controversy, all the debate on the front end styling of the 2019 Silverado. And it all basically comes down to this general area right here. I think overall, it's not too bad, especially in person. I do like the center grill area. I like the split that they put in this larger chrome piece. And I really think it's a smart move to go to the blacked out Chevrolet bow tie. This though is where there's a lot of discussion. Tom's gonna go ahead and zoom in there and show you that is a functional side scoop. What it's doing is it's channeling air as an aerodynamic piece, taking the air and sending it down the side of the truck. Styling wise, some people think it looks like some type of transformer or some type of fang look. I'm gonna have to zonk it. And the reason why is, is that with the bright red and the chrome bumper, it really sticks out like a sore thumb. Watch my Silverado High Country review because with the painted bumper, it actually blends it in and makes it not look so obtrusive. I do like what Chevrolet's doing. They really slimmed down the headlights and I don't think there's any other truck on the market you're gonna confuse a 2019 Silverado with as it's going down the road. You're definitely not gonna confuse it with the outgoing Silverado. Another place that I think that they hit the nail on the head besides the grill areas, I like the hood. I love the indented lines, very, very aggressive, very muscular looking hood, and I think they did that well. Now, on this car, like I was saying, they cut 450 pounds. Most of it's still steel. Where they changed the weight, I'm gonna show you in a second, but let's focus on the next biggest change, the wheel well. For decades, Chevy has had the squared off wheel well. They've now gone back to a nice rounded curve. I think it fits the new lines a lot better. Let's go ahead and drop down. Now, like I was saying, there's eight different engine options and trim options. So with this LT trim, this is the 20 inch wheel. I like the gray, I like the brushed aluminum. Looks great with the red, works really, really well. And with that curved fender, I think it, they hit the nail on the head. Here's another nice part that I like to the styling. There's an indentation that runs from the front fender into the door, beautiful. I think it just makes it a more cohesive package. As we transition down the side, where are we saving weight? Anything that's hung metal. So swinging metal, the doors are aluminum, tailgate's aluminum. That's where they cut a lot of the weight. As we go to the back, I just like the overall shape of the top of the door here. Really just gives it a nice, like I said, cohesive package. As we work into the bed area, let me go ahead and show you some other differences. You might look at this and say, wow, that looks larger. Guess what? Chevrolet, listen, they know there's a lot of working men and women that wear steel toe boots with their Silverados. They were having a hard time getting it in that space. They've actually widened the space to make it easier for them to take their foot and get it in there. The back tailgate, aluminum, like we said. I like the Chevrolet indentation logo. There's our Silverado logo. And like I said, this is an LT trim. Here's something where you're gonna see a big difference. As we drop the back of the tailgate, first of all, a squirrel is gonna be very, very happy with the size of this bed because guess what? Look at all those acorns. This thing is seven inches wider. The bed is seven inches wider. If you're wondering, well, how did they do it, Joe? What did they do? What they did was is this bed is now in three sections, the bottom and the two sides. By doing that, it opened up the width by seven inches. Here's some other touches. Really like the power source back here in the tailgate. I like the LED lighting on both sides. Plus, there's a series of tie-down hooks. Top, middle, and bottom. That's another nice touch. And guess what? You could actually add hooks on the side for a total of nine separate hooks in the back of the bed of this truck. These are the changes that Chevrolet is bringing to the table with the Silverado. Let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood 
and see what we're working with there. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the all new Chevrolet Silverado. One thing I wanted to point out that we forgot is a zonk. I don't like where they put Silverado on the fender. I like it better on the driver and passenger door, lower on the door. I think by putting it there, it really looks out of place. One thing that doesn't look out of place, that is that tried and true 5.3 liter V8. It's a carryover from last year. What you're looking at is 355 horsepower, 380 foot-pounds of torque. You can get optional the dynamic fuel system. That is that system where it's a series of shutting down cylinders to maintain performance and get better fuel economy. Your other engine options for the new Silverado is going to be that tried and true 6.2 liter, that 3 liter straight six Duramax engine, and then for the first time a 2.7 liter inline turbocharged four. Believe it or not, that's going to be a first for the Silverado. But let's go ahead and fire this up so you can hear that 5.3 liter V8. guys we're inside the 2019 Chevy Silverado this is that LT trim let's go ahead and start with the door panels now there's a lot of hard plastic there but if you look on the armrest is like a rubber type material it almost looks leather I like the faux wood grain it gives it a little bit higher scale feel and look even though this is the LT model grade as you transition into the interior the dash it's a softer plastic so looks good i like the simulated stitching in it makes it look nice one thing i'm a little confused on though is this dual glove compartment thing i guess it's nice to have the extra space but in reality what are you going to put in there i have no idea a shortened umbrella when it's closed i guess um, i just don't like the way it looks um, but it does give you more usable space up onto the seats in this lt they're cloth they're a nice darker material. They have, they're a nice grade of material. Like I feel like it could take the wear and I'm glad that it's a darker material. And they have a nice little design in there. Overall, they're supportive and they're comfortable and they do exactly what they're supposed to, which is to make your drive down the road to work or to play or to pick up the kids a lot easier. Here's some things that I do like. All new infotainment system set up. I like the size of the screen. I like the font and everything. This silver trim, this grayish silver trim, very, very nice. I wish they would have used a little bit more of this because around this area where it's just a sea of, of harder plastic, dark plastic, I like though these toggle switches that they have here. This is a very nice touch, just something different. Um, and then of course you have all your usability with USB and power sources and all that good stuff. Whatever you need, they have it easily accessible. Now it's interesting because if you watch the High Country review, Obviously, instead of having a seat in the center, they would have the whole center console. And it's a little bit different. You got wireless charging for your cell phone and whatnot. This folds down very easily. You have some storage in here, not too deep, but it is also a seat. So if you need to go three across, you got that capability. One of the things, and I'm gonna show you as you come over to the driver's side, the business end, is this shifter I'm not really in love with. But why don't you come on over and I'll show you the rest of the business end. All right, guys, here we are, the business end of things. You do have at the LT grade uh, power seats for the driver and whatnot, that's a nice feel. Steering wheel, I like the size. I like the way they brought some of that grayish silver material. The horn, I mean, the button looks a little weird. I wish they would go black with the logo, the Chevrolet bow tie. One of my favorite things though is the dash layout. I like the analog gauges across the top there. You got your tachometer, your speedometer. You could toggle through all sorts of different uh, features. You have your brake pad life, you have um, your trip odometer, you have fuel range. It's all through this wheel that is on the steering wheel. And I actually like it. It's a little sensitive when you're first getting used to it, but I like the thumb wheel right here. Very easy to use. You also have directional arrows at your uh, capability. Like I said, I think this big, hard black piece of plastic that you're gonna be grabbing onto every time you put this thing into a different gear, that to me seems a little cheap. I wish they would have went with some material, maybe take some of this gray material and bring that into the shifter. Overall, lots of great 
headroom, lots of great space. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. All right, guys, back seat, lots of space back here. Even at the LT grade option, you do have uh, rear passenger AC vents. You have some USB uh, jacks down here and also a power source. Lots of leg room, lots of knee room. Uh, very, very comfortable. These seats are, the material is very durable and just overall lots of good usable space back here. I feel very comfortable and, uh, you know, could easily ride back here in the back of the truck for a long time. Speaking about riding in the truck, let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. Hey guys, we're in the 2019 Chevy Silverado. This is the LT with the 5.3 liter V8. Very, very smooth shifting, very, very easy to drive. I love the visibility in the um, Silverado. It's a, it's a really great truck. Um, overall, you can see with the way that the layout is of all the controls and everything, um, very easy to get to. But at the end of the day, you're looking at 355 horsepower, 380 foot-pounds of torque, very smooth. I like the layout of the infotainment screen. I like all the gauges and the ability to scroll through pretty much just about anything with this uh, Silverado fuel range. You have your trip odometers. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swap lanes here and get some free space so I can make a U-turn and show you the power of that 5.3 liter V8. Remember, it's the same carryover vehicle of the previous year. So we're gonna go ahead and make a U-turn. U-turn is a piece of cake in this truck. Very smooth, very quiet. You know, you hear the V8, but the interior noise on the, uh, on the truck is very, very quiet. Nice overall feel. I feel comfortable the way that the seat is positioned. Because remember, you do have that usability of switching up the seat any which way that you want. Um, I think the biggest zonks is going to be just some of the materials in here. You know, if it, this is an LT, you can take it all the way to the high country that we've tested already, which definitely has more upscale materials and features and everything else. But you know what? For an everyday truck, this is, does it all. It's comfortable. It's got some great features to it. Definitely has the power from the V8. Um, and it finished in the red, you know, I'm not really a big fan of red on trucks, but I think with the Silverado, it really fits it well, uh, that's for sure. All right, guys, we're driving down, very smooth. I like the gearbox in the truck, the way that it shifts. The power from the V8 is always there. The great news is 5.3 isn't enough. You could get this in the 6.2. If you go the 6.2 route, it automatically comes with that system of deactivating the cylinders, you can get it as an option on the 5.3. But very just smooth, even on this road that's a little bit more on the rough side, the suspension is very compliant. Love the overall feel. No creaks, no rattles, no wind noise. Just a very, very smooth driving truck. And I think Chevrolet has really done their homework on this 2019 even though like i said that's a carryover the engines are a carryover now it'll be interesting to see what that 2.7 liter inline four turbocharged engine is going to be about but um definitely with a v8 you're not going to get any complaints and i know many of you would not be complaining uh one bit i'm going to go ahead and get on it a little bit let me step on the loud pedal here it drops down picks up very nice, very stable, very smooth. There's not a lot of wallow to the suspension. Brakes are great. I love the steering. I love the balance of the truck is really great. Really, really nice how they've done their homework on this truck. But this is the thing, like I said, this truck, you can take it to work, you can pick up your kids, after school, or you can take them to the movies and, and everybody feels comfortable and everybody um, is in, uh, you know, in a safe vehicle. And this truck has all the great features at a good price point. Because like I said, MSRP, you're looking around $49,000 for this truck. 
um, and you could make it as mild as wild as you want to. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our way back to Moss Family Chevrolet. Um, so we'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day here at Moss Family Chevrolet. Definitely gotta give a huge thank you and a shout out to David Moss and Frankie for opening up the dealership and giving Radies Rides access to these brand new Chevrolets like this Silverado. If these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, a plethora of pickup trucks, all new restyled things, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? These are the types of reviews we're bringing, trucks, muscle cars, supercars, and everything in between. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being on this journey. Thank you for being so dedicated, so caring, and so supportive. It's so amazing to have you part of the Radies Rides family, so I thank you for that. Make sure you check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all Radies Rides original content all the time merch you want, want to promote the channel you want to help support the channel i appreciate that hit the button above my head somewhere that's going to take you right to spread shirt hats hoodies shirts bandanas the whole shabam i'm grateful for all that you do speaking of somebody that i'm very grateful for big guns mcgee tom motioner he's working out drinking the protein eating the food getting ready for his next competition in february so definitely want to show him some love and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride